All right, so uh, let's take a look at the controller. The, um, the original controller was, uh, uh, was built around uh, listening to uh, uh, consuming a, um, uh, a scanner, right? The, and the scanner was tied to the uh, system that in, right? And, and then as you typed, then it would drive all these commands that we, that we have, yes? Um, but what we're going to do here is that we're not going to we're not going to tie it to, to the system that in. Instead, we're going to try and tie, uh, tie it to a, a, a J frame. The J frame is going to include an input field, and we're going to actually type at the input field instead, right? Instead of the at the console. Uh, right now, we're going to have the, the controller uh, just implement this trivial uh, interface uh, that uh, uh, that we're going to we're going to notify uh, from the scanner as the scanner changes over time. Uh, you know, as we type in the input field, uh, um, you know, when we, when we press uh, a button saying, yes, go ahead, execute this, uh, we're going to call this process command, right? And the process command uh, will be a high-level string that will con con contain, you know, move 100, turn 20, right? So that's, that's the way the, the, the view and the controller are going to talk to one another, right? So here's the uh, controller. Uh, the controller, when it gets instantiated, uh, gets, uh, gets an instance uh, of the model. It uh, also gets, get, gets passed an instance of the view, and it just copies them in a the local variable, you know, local model, local view, and it keeps track of the tracing turtle model and the eye view. Right? And then the, it's the responsibility of the controller to go back and forth and talk, you know, and, and, uh, and you know, consume the commands that are coming from the view, and then run the commands uh, on, the, on, the, on the model. Right? So let's take a look at that. Um, so, so this action performed, this action performed, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be invoked. There's going to be a button, right? There's going to be an input field and a button uh, so that when you, when you type and you press on the, on the button, it'll call this action command, right? Uh, uh, so we're not using the fancy, uh, you know, high-level uh, mapping that we, we looked at our, our last example. Pretty, we're, we're a bit cool, uh, perhaps for the next assignment. Uh, we, um, we, you know, we pass in the action. Um, we, we go back to the view and says, oh, OK, uh, what's that input field? Right? You have an input field and a button. What, what does the input field say? Does it say move? Does it say turn? What does it say? Um, I'm going to go get the command, and, gonna, and, and then I'm going to call myself the process command to, well, here's the command, move, or turn, or trace, or save, whatever. Right? Handle it. Once, you, once, once it gets handled, uh, it's going to update the model, presumably, right? It's going to change the heading. It's going to it's going to add lines, whatever. Uh, we need to update the the um, the rendering, right? We want to with the very latest data that we have of of lines and whatnot. We're going to tell the J frame, right? We're going to tell the view, re-render yourself, right? Re-render everything. Uh, we're going to tell the view, hey, here are the lines. Uh, this is the turtle position. Uh, so we're going to tell the we're going to send the two D position to the, uh, to, the, to the view, and then the, the, the heading. What the, what the, um, uh, what the view is going to do is, is going is to iterate over the lines, going to draw the lines. Uh, it's also going to render the turtle as a couple of circles. Right? You know, it's going to render the, uh, the, the, the head. It's going to ha render the, the body. And it's going to also you know, twist it and, and turn it based on the heading. Right? So it's, it's clear which, which way it's, it's pointing. Right? Um, so the refresh is going to do that, right? Once, once we pass all the configuration of lines, turtle position, turtle heading, we can now render the view. Uh, the process command, uh, the process command is, um, <coughs> is, uh, is going to take the string, right? And it's going to consume it using our, our scanner, right? Our, typically our scanner, uh, we typically use it against our console, right? And, you know, as we type, we can then parse it. We can parse strings, integers, doubles, floats, whatever we want, you know, characters. We want to use the same kind of features here, but not data that comes from the console. This would be an input field that come, uh, 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 a string that comes from an input field. Uh, but we want the same high level parsing, right? We, we don't want to handle the parsing ourselves, right? So scanner will do that for us. Um, and, and depending on, uh, on what we parse, you know, whether it starts with a move or starts with a trace or starts with whatever, we're going to we're going to calculate what the turtle command is. Which one is it? Right. This could be a map. Uh, we're not using a map, unfortunately. Um, we're just going to do a simple while, and that while, as it consumes the scanner, it'll decide which command are we going to run. And and as we execute, we're going to 
uh, you know, uh, write kind of like a log of the things that we've been doing, right? We, we went this way, we turn, we, we draw a line, we're gonna, we're gonna do that in a, um, in a string builder, in an output, right? We're gonna keep track of what we're doing and gonna pr uh, print it out to the, uh, uh, to the console. So here it is, here's our while loop. Our while loop, right, it's consuming that scanner, right? Whether it's a string, an, imp uh, an integer, a float, whatever, whatever we're typing. It says, okay, well, for hopefully the very first thing is a string, right? All our commands should start with a string, right? You know, move, trace, turn. Uh, and, um, and so that, that's our first string. The second thing, hopefully, is, the, um, is, is, a, is a double, right? Uh, so we're gonna, first, we're gonna use that, that first string as a token right, into a switch statement, right? Hopefully that first string, whether it's, an, it's a turn, move, trace, we're gonna use that as, a, as an input into that switch and we'll say, well, what is it? Was it a move? Was it a turn? What was it? Uh, and, um, uh, once we, if, if it is a move indeed, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going we're gonna to now try and parse a double, you know, following that first string. We're going to try and consume the rest of the string. Uh, and we're going to use that as an input to instantiate the command. Yes? Right? Uh, so our switch is going to have just many, many variations of this, right? Move, trace, turn, blah, 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 right? It's going to instantiate CMD, the command. And then at the very last thing that we do when we leave the switch, is going to say, hey, command, go. You know, do what you need to do. You know, update the model how you need to update it. Do whatever you need to do. Right? So all of these is, is to calculate which command is it. Right? Which command is it? And then we configure that command you know, from, the, from the strings and, and, and doubles and whatnot that we are typing. So here's trace, turn, and square. Right? Uh, you know, they look all very similar to each other. Uh, you know, we instantiate the command. We, we configure it with the correct value. You know, turn 30 degrees, you know, trace 100, 100 units, uh, do a square that is 10 by each side, right? And so we calculate the command. Uh, later on, we're going we're gonna to do a go on this command. Save, same thing, right? Instantiate save, instantiate retrieve. If it's none of the above, we're going to say, oops, I don't, know, I don't know what you're asking me to do, right? And, you know, it didn't start with any known token that I, that I knew. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to do anything. Command null, right? It's none of the above, right? So I don't know what you just said. Um, so out of the switch, you know, inside of the loop, uh, we're, we're going to, uh, the very last thing outside of the switch, right after the switch, we're going to check. Is it, uh, is com does command have a valid value, right? Is it, is it not null? If it isn't, uh, if it's not null, then we can say just go. Right? And this will be either the save command, the move command, the trace command. What is it? Right? And regardless of what it is, we're going to pass the model. Right? We're going to pass the model, and each one will know what to do with the model. Right? Whether it generates uh, four lines, uh, whether it generates one line, whether it just you know, uh, uh, does a, um, a teletransports itself for, for a different location, or backtracks, whatnot. Uh, and then it just appends to the string that it, was, it would successfully uh, was able to uh, execute that particular command. And the command presumably has a string representation uh, so that, that we're building into this uh, string. Yep? Uh, 